Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make and use the improvised explosive device. I can't believe this. So this is currently live on the 118 experimental servers for Xbox and PC, but will be coming to public servers very, very soon. How cool is this? So basically this um, enables you to make a, uh, a bomb that can either be a timed bomb that will go after go off after a period of time, or go off at a uh, particular time on the server, so a particular time of day, or you can explode it remotely. So you can do all these things, and then you can have it as a bomb, you could have it as a flashbang, you could have it as a smoke bomb, um, you could have it as a gas bomb, all these different things. In fact, if you look closely, the, the animations are so good, good, aren't they, in Daisy? So you can, can you see the kitchen timer going down? So this one is armed and will be going off, but luckily... Um, it's just got a, uh, a smoke grenade in it, so it won't kill me. So here are the kind of bits you, you need to, to make your own um, improvised explosive device. You have the protective case, and you need the electro, uh, electrical repair kit. So what you do is you, you make the, um, the, explode, the IED first, then you put your explosive in it, whether that be a plastic explosive, a grenade, a smoke grenade, um, a gas, the new gas grenade. And then you take your trigger item, whether that be an alarm clock or a kitchen timer or the uh, remote detonator unit. And in the case of the alarm clock or the kitchen timer, you set them first and then you approach um, the, uh, the IED and then, then you arm it like that. So what I've done is I actually set some out here so we can actually um, see how it's done. Um, right, so okay, so what we've got down here is we've got the uh, case, we've got a kitchen timer, we've got a smoke grenade, because I'm good at killing myself in Daisy, so we're gonna make sure uh, we don't do that. So let's take the protective case, and then let's take the electrical repair, repair kit, and we combine the two, like so. And then you'll see we've now got the tip on our mouse or on controller, it'll be on one of the buttons for console to craft the improvised explosive device. So you've got kind of got to do things in this order. If you put the explosive in first into the box, sometimes that disappears actually. Right, so that is now on the ground. You can see it kind of, there it is. So what we can do now is we can now put our explosive in there. So I could put some plastic explosive. In this case, I'm putting a smoke grenade in there. So that has now got a smoke grenade in there. I don't think we can see it actually. If we Can we see the smoke grenade? No, you can't, can you? Okay. And then we need to arm it. So we're going to pick up our timer in our hand and we're going to set the alarm. So with the timer, it's like it's in the future, isn't it? So you're doing a countdown. If you were using the um, the, the alarm clock, in fact, let's just do it for a shorter period of time so it actually goes off. If you're using the alarm clock, you would set it for a time on the server. So um, you would look at the alarm and go, okay, so it's four o'clock now. I want that to go off at eight o'clock. So it could be quite a long time in the future. The only thing you have to watch out for are probably server restarts, because I'd imagine that the timer would would, um, would not work after a start a, a server restart. So, so now, uh, so let's set the alarm again. But let's just do it for a couple of minutes so you can see it go off. There we go. So we just do it for a short period of time. And now you see I get the tooltip to arm explosive. You can probably see that in the middle of the screen. So now I press and uh, left click and hold. That will then add the timer to the IED. You'll notice that the IED is actually fixed. You know, it's on the floor. You can't move it around. So there we go. So that is now on there. So that is um, now armed. So if we take a look at it, you can actually see, probably, you'll, you'll see the counter going down. See if we can see it go. There it goes, it moved. So that one's gonna go off in a few minutes. Meanwhile, over here, we're gonna do a remote one. So what we have here is we have the protector case, the electrical repair kit, a smoke grenade, and we've got the remote detonation kit. Now, these remote detonation kits, they, they um, consist of a transmitter and a receiver. Um, and when you arm the bomb, you're left with the transmitter and the receivers in the bomb. Now these are paired, unfortunately. So it means that they'll only work with the um, bomb you've put them on. If you make a load of bombs, um, you can't use the same transmitter to make them all go off at once. I have tested that and it, and it didn't work, unfortunately. You've got to use each transmitter in turn, which also means that once you've used the, um, 
set the bomb off you should I, I don't think there's any real use for the transmitter after that you know you just kind of throw it away so um, let's pick up the protect case let's uh, look at the electric pair kit and make the IED making sure that one hasn't gone off yet bum, 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 bum. so now so that's there so what we can do now is we could pick the smoke grenade up we can attach it to the IED and if we look here we'll see it's got the smoke grenade in again you could use explosive and now we pick up the detonation kit and you'll see again I'm looking at the IED and it says arm explosive so I left click and hold on console you'll, you'll press one of the buttons to do it dum -de dum -de dum -de dum -de dum has that one gone off yet no cool and now I have the trigger in my hand so, <laughs> this is so 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 cool so then we retreat to a safe distance now another cool thing is that when 118 goes live the gas cans you know those the, the little gas cans that you use for the gas they're apparently going to explode when they're when they're um when they're ruined um so you may well be able to pile other things around one of these ieds and explode them now in experimental that's not working unfortunately at the moment um, but okay, so, right. So there we go. So that I see our timed one has just gone off. How cool! And let's uh, do our other one. So pull the trigger, dunk, and there goes our other one there. How absolutely amazing! <laughs> has the other one gone off in there yet? No. How absolutely cool is this? Fantastic work, Adam, and the Daisy team. You have knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant. so just remember the, the, the hard thing i found to remember was the fact that you need the electro repair, electrical repair kit and the protective case first that makes the ied you place it on the ground you add your explosive your smoke grenade your uh, plastic explosive your, your proper grenade uh, into it and then you set your kitchen timer or you set your alarm clock then you arm it or you put the remote detonator into your hand and then you arm it and then you uh, retreat to a safe distance so there we go hopefully you found the video useful um remember put your questions and comments down below if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon